Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, I show the sidekick, the Monkey Cycle Camper Van Project. You know he's gonna be impressed. Cue the intro. Well, I'm here at the secret location. I've had a phone call from Lord Plonkerhead telling me to come and he wants to meet me up here because he's got something he wants to show me. I dread to think what it's gonna be this time. Full payment in advance for this baby. What's this for? Nuts for monkeys, mate. That's what you get paid, isn't it? That's a, okay. That's a down payment. I will get you some ready salted when you're finished. It's going to take a lot more nuts than that for me to go anywhere near that thing. That there is a masterpiece, an absolute masterpiece. Masterpiece of something. <laughs> well, first of all, mate, it's character. This has had a good life, right? A very good life. And think what this would be like once all that's done, this has been painted, graphics on it. And when you finish, I might even put somewhere at the top, sidekick. When I'm finished? Yeah, well, well that- You do know the va vans that I work on, they're usually about 50 grand. This thing's like 50p. Yeah, but that's your I'm trade. On this. That's your trade. Look at it. People know I've been working on vans like this, I won't get any more work. I reckon, Look, there's more brown than there is white. Right. It's all rusty. Look, what's this here? There's a hole. Yeah, that's for aerodynamics. Air goes in and it comes out. It's, it's, look, look, hang on, bear with me, right? Come here, come here, come here, come here, bear with me. Where do you find these absolute turds from? Well, I did that thing at you said, gone marketplace. So uh, it worked well, but look, check out this, right? Look at that space, right? I've physically taken out all of these seats, right? All of this here, now bear with me, right? This is my vision, okay? We're gonna have, well, you're gonna make, I mean, I'll make it, I'll make it like I made it, but you'll do it, right? We'll have a bed that folds down here, right? Luxury bed, and I want it to have like sheepskins on it, and look, you know when you get one of those kind of like, like passion, pa like passion beds? That there, we could even have some candles. So making a passion wagon? Passion wagon, yeah. <laughs> it's the Monkey Cycle Mark II. Over here, full kitchen, designer, sink, lights, but piece of the distance of everything. We'll have fairy lights and we'll have like bananas hanging off of the ceiling. I mean, dude, we can get the bike in here, go off an adventure. How cool will that be? The only way you'll make this thing look any good is if you go for the, the rustic effect. So Rusty effect? Rust, well, it's rusty. Does it's, that already mean, got, it's already got the rusty effect. Does that mean I don't have to do any of the sort of Rust, sanding down and stuff? Rustic. So it looks old and shabby. Oh. So you could do, we could put a nice... You're like classic? That's, yeah. Yeah, okay. So we could, yeah, we could make something here, maybe something rustic. We get an old sideboard, looks like it should be in the, an old country house. Yeah. Put your sink and a cooker in there. Yeah. Uh, and what about the bed? I want something to come to, I want it to be like literally like a passion bed. So I want it to come down like almost electric, like futuristic. And go zzz, zzz, tsh. Might be electric. We might be able to do something on some ropes or something. But yeah, I can make a fold out bed on there. Put the bike in. We can make it work. It's never going to be awesome, is it? But we can make it work. We can, we can do something for you, I suppose. But it's going to be a lot more nuts than that. Well, what sort of nuts do you really like? Well, it's going to have to be some bacon sandwiches as well. 
I can do that, not a problem at all. But there you go, so you're sold then. So you've gone from saying no, just to be clear, to like 100% yes, and you can see this being the best Mark II cam fan. Look, we start with a Mark I that broke, so we can't. We can only get better. A Mark II cam fan that everybody in the world will recognise when they see it. They're going to go like, there they are, there's the guys oh, travelling down the road. Okay. What do you mean you're not going to come in here? Go into this, look at the state of it. I'll get my own, thanks. So we'll have like a helmet head and then sidekick bus. Yeah, and obviously mine's going to be better. Well, you probably, right. yeah, but what we'll just tell everyone is is that mine's the best in the world and like yours is the second because it's I'll that's have just to help me out because otherwise you won't stop sending me text messages and phoning me and harassing me and crying down the phone again, will you? So happy days. Well, that's it then. Well, let's I reckon cue the music, make it look like we're really cool. I'll just touch a few bits and then you get on with doing it, yeah. All right. Just before I cue the music and start working on the van, I've obviously bought some parts to service it and stuff like that. I just want to say a massive thanks to Bruce Groom for being the first person to go out of his way to help donate towards getting this van done. I hugely appreciate it. You're an absolute legend. Thank you so much, sir. Well, there you go, and I'm pretty sure I've sold him the idea now. The sidekick seems to be on board. He's already helping me do all the bits and bobs to it. I want to say a massive thank you again to Bruce Groom for you know going out of his way to send some money over via the PayPal link and helping us go towards this build. Now, this build is going to be done on a shoestring, and I am doing my best to get it done as quickly as possible. If anybody wants to donate towards it on a financial basis, there is a link down to my PayPal. You can join Patreon, that also helps. Or if you've got any skills like spraying, painting, or any of that kind of stuff, and you're able to help or donate towards it, please, please get in touch. You know, the quicker we can get this done, the faster we can get out on some more nutty adventures. It just opens up so much more for little mini adventures and little trips and bigger distances where we can hopefully do more sort of videos with more of the YouTubers and subscribers and stuff like that in the future. So if you are interested in helping out and you're able to, then please do so. On that basis, again, I just want to say a massive thank you to all of my patrons. Their names are in the credits. They get to see videos first. We are probably at least two weeks ahead on Patreon than we are on YouTube with videos. So if you are interested in being able to see the videos first, getting your names in the credits and helping support this channel again, then please look at that. As well as there's a shop with all the cool merchandise, the t-shirts, the mug that makes everything taste a million times better. There'll probably be in a lot more featured camper stuff in the future. Then please go and check out the shop. And then of course, all there is, but last but not least, the three things we live by on this channel, the gospel of life, and that's eat pie, ride motorcycles, and be happy. I will see you in the next bonkers helmet head adventure. Bye bye for now. To be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I won. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a 